Okay, just a test here of recording a video. We're going to give a tour of my base. Come in the front door here. Whoops. Uh, first section, office, all the normal stuff. A uh, couple of chests here to build fusion reactors whenever I'm low on power. Little window. I used to have stuff out there. I've never taken the, the gratings down. We got our bio lab, all the biology stuff, incubators, all the other stuff you need for uh, making various biological things. Over here, my general crafting area, uh, my food and water right by the door, so I can grab it when I come back in. Uh, these shredders are hooked up to a, uh, a uh, pond life collector, whatever you call it. That way, uh, all I have to do is boop, clear these out, and it'll start shipping, and that'll supply uh, phytoplankton to the uh, uh, various places that need it. Uh, gas collectors out there on the porch. Uh, ton of auto crafters. These do supply the rockets, but the ones down here are also for my use whenever I build something. Uh, various storage chests for my storage area. Come back around here into the storage area. Everything neatly labeled. And as you can see, it's all in nice alphabetical order. So I can, uh, I can find it when I need it. These larger chests are for supplying trade rockets. I mean, I don't I actually don't even need a uranium rod chest. I don't use it anymore. But the trade rockets eat tons of resources. So I've got big chests where needed. Doop, doop, doop. And then we pop upstairs. My big uh, fabric generating area. This is so much easier now that silkworms have their own uh, own thing. Generally, you want three crafters full to supply a, ro a rocket. Crafters have eight units. A rocket holds 25. So boom, all you got to do is produce one and the rocket is on its way. About as fast as the drones can load it. Uh, this storage area here feeds the autocrafters for biology. And yeah, there goes a rocket. Could, you, could go out and film a rocket arriving, but I don't have any windows on this level. Uh, these autocrafters also all feed the, feed the, uh, the rockets. Come back over here. Got my nice little kitchen area with storage area for ingredients and components. Uh, haven't experimented with it. But it's there. And again, more auto crafters. These are specifically to feed the rockets. Lots and lots of stuff to feed the rockets. Uh, and then storage area over here is where I keep my plants. Various stuff. Yeah, all my rockets arrive pretty much all in a row. So we'll be listening to this for a while. And then up on the roof, uh, we have almost all of my drone control stations, plus farms for the auto crafters. Whoosh, there it goes. Didn't spend long on the ground. Uh, give you an overview of my, my trade rockets. I might do another video on trade rockets later, just for amusement value. There's one lone drone control station there on the ground level, just so I can check the info screens from time to time. And over here, we have the trade rocket I used to buy things, or when a chest meteor comes, I can stuff it all in there and send it off to sell. You can see my farm in the distance, and then way off in the distance, you can just barely make out uh, my mine for aluminum and conventional materials. Uh, algae over there, waters, along, uh, water collectors are right along the beach, just out of sight. And right on the other side of that hill, there is all the honeys, honeybees uh, for producing foods. It's, this is all designed to be close for the drone, but nothing, uh, nothing in the way. Because, like, I hate having those bees flying around inside the base. Uh, the foundation of my own bio, old bio lab, <coughs> before they changed it so that uh, uh, drones will handle algae, so... 
I don't know what I'll do with that yet. And then, of course, my teleporter station uh, go various places all around. And I, I think that's about it. This, uh, we'll just see how this works.